Lebanon, the home of the cedar, derives its name from the root word Laban, meaning white. Its mountains are blanketed with snow most of the year, providing the necessary moisture which keeps the trees thriving upon its slopes. Fed by the melting streams of water, the trees yield up a fragrance that fills the valleys and covers the hills with a fragrance of spiritual elevation. What a beautiful picture of the Bride of Messiah to be planted upon the mountains in the garden of God, elevated in heavenly places in Christ, filling the depressions and reaching the heights while continually offering up a fragrance that reveals her source of life. The cedar tree has long stood as a symbol of eternal life and is also known predominantly for its fragrance. In Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 11, it says, The smell of your garments is like the smell of Lebanon. The smell of Lebanon was the smell of the cedar tree, a tree that would yield up a fragrance day after day, night after night, unchanging with passing time. Summer and winter, in tropical heat or mountain cold, the cedar gave up its perfume for the garments of the king. The very name by which this tree was known, Erez in Hebrew, means firmly rooted and strong. It is this tree that has been held in such high esteem, not only for its vigor and beauty, but also for its fragrance and lasting quality of its wood. And what an amazing fragrance it does have. It abides even though the tree may be cut down and sawed into boards, beams, and pillars. Hardly any wood of its kind unites so many good qualities as the cedar. And its wood is not only pleasing to the eye with its red stripes, but it exhales an agreeable smell that some people consider imperishable. Isn't this a picture of our Savior and speaks of the fragrance of His life? Cedar, which is spiritually symbolic of strength, serves as a hedge of protection. In Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 17, it says, The beams of our house are cedar, and our rafters are fir. Just as the bride's trousseau, or cedar chest, holds her treasures and protects them from moths and silverfish, a believer's heart should be like that old cedar chest. For this is where God's treasure lies, and we need to guard our heart so that the enemy cannot come in and steal your joy or peace because he wants you to be like that heavenly fragrance cedar wood